Wake Up Central is your Back to School Central, and this morning our Back to School coverage takes us to Jefferson County. The Pine Bluff and Dollarway School Districts will share a single superintendent this year. All new this morning, she tells THV 11's Michael Aaron a majority of her students are starting the school year online. It's a whirlwind right now. For nearly five years, Barbara Warren has served as superintendent of Dollarway Schools. She continues that role this school year while also adding one more. I'm the proud superintendent of two school districts. Superintendent of the Pine Bluff School District. It feels good to, to impact children always, but I don't mind telling you, it's a very challenging time right now. For Warren, student safety is top of mind. We're just ready to pivot and to again make a seamless, take a seamless approach to making certain students can learn wherever they are. About 70% of students in Pine Bluff School District have chosen to start the school year virtually. For Dollar Way, about 65%. Mobile hotspots and Wi-Fi buses are helping bridge the digital divide, but Warren says current circumstances highlight a bigger issue. We have got to do something about connectivity. It's got to become the new utility. We've got to have connectivity like you have light, gas, and water. How it's going to help our children, of course, is that they're going to be able to access um, the platforms. They're going to be able to access all kinds of resources. Warren says everyone who enters school buildings will be screened for COVID-19. Face coverings are required and teachers will have PPE and cleaning kits. It's an act of making certain that we're diligent and responsive. And any tip, any tool or trade that we're learning, we're trying to put it in place. What is your message for parents as they send their, send their kids back to school? That although this is a scary time, we are navigating a new normal. And that is going to mean we're going to have to have patience with one another. It means that lines may be a little bit slower as we're going to be screening. It may mean even for our students that, no, you might want to be in the cafeteria, but breakfast is going to be in the classroom. We are going to do everything we can to first and foremost be safe. And during a time of great challenge, Warren is hopeful that students will receive the education they deserve. There's a lot of ground to cover. There's a lot to, to do. Michael Aaron, THV 11 News. Ms. Warren also wants to thank school district staff, parents and community members for the countless hours of work they put in this summer. Students in Pine Bluff and Dollarway school districts will return to class on Tuesday.